Today we're going to learn how to write an appropriate and clearly understood email. The first step to this process is to enter the email address of the person or people that you're sending the email to. After that, you'll then need to enter a subject for the email. Please note that it's never appropriate to send an email without a subject. For the subject of the email, you'll want to choose something that's brief and to the point. Since this is only a sample email, I'm going to choose the subject, Sample Email. Once you've chosen an appropriate subject, you can then move on to the body of the email. Here you'll want to start with a greeting followed by a comma. Appropriate greetings are greetings, hello, to whom it may concern, and there's a lot of others. Just choose one that makes the most sense for the email you're writing. Please note that SUP or what's up is never an appropriate greeting. After the greeting comes the body of the email. This is where you get to the point. Try to include enough details about your subject to make the purpose of the email clear. Be wary not to type too much or too little. And another, th another thing to remember in the body and in the rest of the email is to use proper grammar and punctuation so the reader can easily read and understand the email. After the body, you're down to the salutation, which can range from best, kind regards, yours truly, or sincerely. There are plenty of other appropriate salutations, but those four are a good starting point. Once you've completed your email, you want to check that spelling and grammar are correct and that you've attached any files that you need to. After you've checked it over, you're now ready to send your email.